Hi guys, it's me again, Shane. Now you're probably wondering, why are you doing a video on storage proteins? Well, while other people are doing videos on their topics, I'll be teaching you about science in general. So, the first topic is proteins. No, not this protein, another type of protein, like the microscopic type. So, what are storage proteins? Like other proteins, these things are really tiny. Any normal microscope couldn't see them. They are smaller than cells and smaller than cell organelles. They are molecules. Storage proteins are one of the seven different types of proteins. We'll talk about those in other videos. Anyway, back to storage proteins. These proteins function is to store metal ions and amino acids. They store materials away for later use in the organism. Storage proteins are found in egg whites, plant seeds, and milk. There are a few different types of storage proteins that I will be talking about in this video. Those are casein, ovalbumin, and ferritin. Casein is a protein related to the phosphoproteins. It is found in mammalian milk. This protein makes up about 80% of cow milk proteins and anywhere from 20 to 60% of human milk proteins. You can find this protein in a lot of dairy products. This is its chemical formula, C81H125N22O39P. The second protein is ovalbumin. You can find this protein in egg whites. This is the main protein found in egg whites. It makes up about 55% of the protein in egg whites. Ovalbumin is a monomeric phosphoglycan protein. This is a type of water-soluble protein, meaning it can be dissolved in water. Ovalbumin is made up of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. This is its chemical formula. Ferritin is another example of storage proteins that stores iron in your cells. This helps the doctor understand how much iron is in your blood. This is its chemical formula. It also makes iron available for necessary cellular processes while it protects lipids, DNA, and proteins from the possible toxic effects of irons. Those were just a few types of storage proteins. If you want to learn more about the different types of storage proteins, like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Have a great rest of the day, and remember, science will always be amazing.